friends my name is Vicky so here I am with the new AWS video now before I go to the demo if you are here for the first time then do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get notified of the new video let's start discussing what ECS is ECS is elastic container service if you have experience on the containerization then the ECS concept will be little bit easy for you to understand it is one of the orchestration service for the AWS. Now with the help of the ECS, I can easily deploy my containers on the EC2 machine. ECS is a AWS managed service. So most of the things are taken care by the Amazon itself. Underline capacity, auto scaling, these things we don't have to worry in the ECS. That is managed by the AWS. We have other tools as well in the market or rather I would say these are the competitors in the market like we have the Kubernetes, we have the Docker Swarm, we have the HashiCorp Nomad. These are the popular tools which we have as a competitor for the ECS. Again in the layman term if I am going to explain ECS is a service where we can deploy our containerized application on the EC2 machine. So it's a kind of cluster, we can create a cluster and with the help of that cluster we can deploy our services on the ec2 machine or deploy our containerized services on the ec2 machine now let's discuss what all topic we are going to cover in this so we are going to start with the creation of the ec ecs cluster after that we are going to create a task definition um, in this demo we are also going to create a key pair then we are going to create a task and a service and in the last we are going to configure our repository in the ECR. So not wasting much time we will start with the demo. Let's start with demo now. We'll start with the creation of the key pair. Now I'm in my AWS console. And what I need to do is I need to go to the EC2 service and once I am in the EC2 service I need to scroll down and here we have an option for the key pair now I need to click on the key pair and I will present with this screen and after that what I need to do is I need to click on create key pair here I need to give the name for my key pair so ECS key here I need to uh, select the key pair type I am I'm going with the default one RSA and then I am going to select the PIM if I need to give any tag I will give the tag here as of now I don't want to give create key pair now once I have the key pair with me the second thing which I need to do is I need to change the permission of the key pair if I am a Linux or Mac machine so how to change the permission we will see in a while created the key pair the next thing which I need to do is to create the ECS cluster now let me type in the search bar for the ECS let me click on the elastic container service oops I log out from my account let me log in let me enter the security check I'm good. So here I'm in the Amazon Elastic Container Service console. So let me click on the cluster, create cluster. Now it is showing me three options here. First one is the networking. The second option which I have that is for EC2 Windows plus networking. And the third option which we have that is the EC2 Linux plus networking. In this demo, we are going to work with EC2 Linux plus network. Let me give the cluster name. So the cluster name which I'm going to give that is cluster. Test cluster one. I'm going with the on demand. Uh, let me change it to T2 micro so that I will be in the free tier only. Number of instances, I'm going to change it to two now here the option for the ec2 miid and you can see the first one is depreciated so i'm going to select the second one 
root volume it's okay keep here and now the VPC now here I have the option to go with my already created VPC or I can you know select the new VPC here so let me go with the new VPC option okay now what it is going to do is it is going to create a new VPC for me here we can edit the security group okay as of now I'm not getting option uh, let me scroll down and scroll down and click on create now it is creating the EC2 cl ECS cluster so it is going to take some time why it is going to take some time because with the help of the cloud formation stack it is creating the resources now which resources it is creating as of now I can see it is creating VPC which is showing in pending and internet gateway it is creating and the auto scaling group it is creating so it is going to take some time so let me pause my video and I will come back once it is completed okay it is completed now let me go to the cluster let me click on the test cluster and here I can see the status is active ending task is zero in the task there is no task is running now before I'm going to create a task the first thing which I'm going to do is let me go to the EC2 console and in the EC2 console let me check for the instances the ECS created for me yes ECS created two instances for me one which is in the running state and the second one which is pending right now let me log into one of the instance now how to log into the instance we need to click on the instance then we need to grab the public IP let me open my terminal let me go with the key pair ch mode 400 remember I told you that uh, while downloading the key pair if you are on the Mac machine you need to change the permission of your key pair so that you can use that key pair uh, okay why I'm not getting uh, okay I'm so sorry I'm not in the download location let me go to the download location first so I'm in the download location now ch mode 400 uh, read only permission I'm giving and my key pair name I'm done now the command to log in ssh i and after that ec2 dash user uh, I forgot to enter the key pair name so let me enter the key pair name ssh i ecs okay ec2 user at the rate the ip address the public ip address let me log in okay I'm still not able to log in. Oh, okay. Now, why I'm not able to log in here? The reason is we have created a new VPC, and the security group is the security group which was created by default that has no inbound traffic for the port 22 for the SSH. So, I need to give that. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let me close this one and the open it. Okay, let me click one more time inbound let me click on the edit inbound rule and add the rule here ssh port number 22 anywhere 000, zero, zero that means from anywhere i can log in i'm good now let me go back to my terminal I need to come out of this I'm so sorry yes let me log in again here we go I'm able to log in great so I'm able to log into the machine the next thing which I need to check whether the docker install on this machine or not because this machine is created from the ECS cluster so I'm expecting that the docker is already installed on this machine let me verify that thing and we can verify with the command docker ps minus a let me type that command docker docker so docker i can see installed on this machine and docker ps minus a here we go we can see the amazon acs agent latest is installed on this machine now we have the acs cluster created 
so i can see two of the machine are in the next state so now let me go to the task definition and create a new task definition now for the new task definition i am going to select the ec2 here i need to give the name of the task definition so ghost task definition now the next thing is the role so i don't want to select any role so i will go with the none option and the next one we have for the networking so in the networking i will go with the default networking although we do have option for the other networks as well but the bridge network is the default one so i'm going with the default one here now let me scroll down in the task size i need to enter the memory so the memory i will go with half gigabyte 512 megabyte and cpu i will go with the same figure 512 now the next thing we need to add a container now let me click on add container now container name so that is something important so i need to give the container name so let me think of a name um ghost container now the next one is for the image now this image i'm going to give the name ghost latest so from where it is going to pull this image it is going to pull this image from the docker hub so in the docker hub we have this ghost image over there so i'm going to pull it from there now with the hard limit or soft limit i am hard limit 128 is fine with me and in the port mapping for the host port i will give 80 and for the container port i am going to give any of the random port i can select tcp or udp um 262368 that's okay rest all the option i am going to leave add as it is i'm not going to give anything over there although i can give the environment value network settings i can do that security but let me click on add now here i can see my container name is added here let me scroll down scroll down and click on create now it is creating a task definition for me now we have the task definition created now the next thing we need to create a task from it now let me click on the ghost task definition so here it is as of now no task is in running state so i need to click on the run new task so let me click on that now it comes up with three option like the far gate ec2 and the external so i will go with the op uh, ec2 option i'm going to select my task definition revision cluster name number of task i can change it to 2 3 whatever i want task group and um, rest all the option i'm going to leave as it is i'm not going to change any of the option for now let me click on create task run task and now it is showing one of the task is in the process pending right now and that is our state i can see that is running let me refresh this thing it's still showing pending let me refresh one more time okay it's still showing pending it is going to take some time so let me pause the video here and let me come back one it is showing in the running state here i can see the task is running successfully and this is the container instance id let me log into my machine so here on the machine i can see these two containers are running and i can see this container is in the running state from the last 7 minutes now if i need to check it so what i can do is i can grab the public ip this public ip is exactly the same of my machine so i can go to the ec2 console and grab the public ip from there or from here and in here if i need to update the running task i can easily do that by click on update agent and there i can increase the number of running task we are in the last part of the demo where we are going to see how to create a service but before that let's understand what exactly the service is service is a auto scaling feature like let's suppose if i have configured my task definition that two of the task are going to be run up and running all the time then this is the responsibility of the service if something happened to one of the task it is going to delete that task and it is going to create a new task for me so that is the work of the service
now let's see how we can create a service now here I need to click on my task definition we select this thing after that I need to click on this we select go to the action and there we have the option create service now here again it is asking me for the launch time so EC2 I am going to select rest all option are going to be the same number of tasks I can update to 1 to whatever I want maximum health percentage if I need to change click on next oops I missed the service name let me give the service name here goes definition service let me click on next there is also a feature of the load balancer I don't want to configure that thing go to scaling as well next and create let me go to the cluster here let me click on the task and I can see one of the task is in pending state now this task is created from the service status is showing pending let me refresh this thing still showing pending again it is going to take some time that's okay we'll wait refresh it yes now it is showing in the running state so what I'm going to do now I'm going to stop this task so that it is going to create a new task for me by itself now for that what I need to do is I need to go select my task and click on stop okay, let me click on stop now it is in the process of stop so we need again we need to wait for a couple of minutes So it is also showing that uh, the status is task stopped by user. So let me go to the running. See one of the service now in the running state. So without any user intervention, I can see one of the task is in running state. 